Hello, and welcome back to an episode of Sky Factory. This is part 44. Last time, I believe... Oh, yeah, last time we did the diamond dimension thing after a lot of effort. I don't actually remember how long I spent on making that episode. It was like seven hours or something ridiculous like that. Uh, anyways, uh, today I'm going to start trying to get a few more things out of the way just to make my life a little bit easier and also to make a few of the achievements that I have in this thing actually happen. And also, I really need to start getting closer to having, like, I now have everything at a minimum of wyvern level, but I really need it to be, like, at least draconic. Because I'm not very good at this game, and if I'm going to be fighting the draconic dragon, the chaotic dragon, whatever it's called, four times, in fact, I'm probably going to need something better than just wyvern level. Either that, or you can fight him with basic, and I'm just way over preparing, but you know what? I don't care. Uh, anyways, uh, off camera, I did a couple things. Uh, the biggest thing, or at least not the biggest thing, but the thing that took longest, was setting this up so that I could... Uh, is it? Oh, we already have quintuple. Uh, do we have any of these? Uh, yeah, we actually do. All right. So I decided to upgrade this so that I would start getting stuff faster because eventually that quadruple or octuple compressed cobblestone thing is going to happen. And I just want to make sure I actually get it done, you know, within this series because... The old system I had would take like eight years to do it. But other than that, the only noteworthy thing I did was again upgrade my stuff a little bit. And also, I finally added a crafting grid into this area so I don't have to keep jumping down this hole every day. And so, yeah, that's basically everything I did off camera. Now, I did decide that since we are getting close to finally finishing all the stuff in this series, I should probably actually have a list so I remember what to do. So I made this clipboard so I could actually see all the things I plan to do within an episode. This episode I plan to make beef wellington because it's surprisingly good food, uh, dragon hopping, that's an achievement, make an egg mill, an achievement, draconic capacitor, that makes my life easier, uh, automate making supremium hose, again, makes my life easier, and then make some baubles. Because there's some really cool baubles that I actually haven't looked at. And even with the level, like even if I ended up having all this stuff at level Draconic, I feel like some of these baubles would actually still help me. Like they're that good. So I guess let's start from the top and go down from there. So to make beef wellington, we're going to need spinach, we're going to need dough, we're going to need raw beef, and we're going to need mushrooms. Now, I'm pretty sure I might have plenty of mushrooms already, so might as well check. I have one. <laughs> so, no, I do not have plenty of mushrooms. Uh, I can buy mushrooms in this, right? I can't. That might cause a few issues. Uh, I have that one mushroom, hold on. So if I take this, and then just get a ridiculous amount of bone meal, then I believe all I should have to do is head into the beneath dimension and just plonk this thing down, grow it, break it down, <laughs> repeat like 50 times. Hopefully that'll get me enough mushrooms. This grows these, right? If I get through a whole stack and it doesn't grow, then I'm gonna guess no. So how can I get a mushroom? Uh, nature essence and dirt essence or from loot bags. Okay, I guess we're going to be getting a bunch of nature essence. Oh, you can buy mushroom spores. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put away all this stuff. Okay. That makes my life a million times easier. There we go. Now I have more white mushrooms than I'll ever know what to do with. Except for make beef wellington, of course. So I guess I don't have more than I do. Oh, yeah, anyways. Moving on. How do you make dough? Uh, you need flour, salt, and a mixing bowl. Mixing bowl and water are easy. Salt is just water in a pot. Um, I should probably make some spinach too. Uh, flour is just wheat. Alright, 
that is easy. I'm going to go ahead and buy some spinach real quick. I should really set up a proper kitchen so that I don't have to worry about things like water and milk and stuff. This, this is very slow, and then sometimes that happens. I think I have all the water I need. I have enough water to make 16 salt, and then I have 16 more fresh water, so yeah, I'm good. Alright, so let's see. I'm pretty sure... Oh, click on the wrong things. I'm pretty sure I already have this stuff. And make flour. Nope, I need regular flour. There we go. I need a mortar and pestle, which I'm pretty sure I have. I don't. Okay. Oh, but I can just make wheat flour this way. Uh, how do you make... Nope, not fresh water. Salt. I need a pot. That's easy to make. So then let's make the salt. Oh, that's making bubbly water. That's not good. Why is that making that? Well, I guess I gotta get a bunch more buckets of water now, I guess. Because apparently you have to use individual buckets. You can't just use... Uh, that's annoying. Alright, put that in place. I should probably actually have all the things in the computer. There we go, make dough. Put this all in, and there we go! We now have one beef wellington. Hold on, didn't click the right thing. There we go, now we have 32 beef wellington. Then I believe... If I set this here, or something, uh, maybe I have to eat all the steak first? I don't know. Which means, okay, I'm just going to shove that in there. I just spent 22 minutes making something I can't even use. But, you know what? Check. Next thing, dragon hopping. Ooh, this will be fun. So what this is, is an achievement where you hop between two dragons, which are both in flight. <sighs> which means, and also, as you can probably guess, I did get a second saddle finally. I'm gonna go over to here so that I don't accidentally drop my dragons into the void because that would be a bad thing. This is probably gonna take a few tries. <laughs> uh, let's bring you. Let's actually go above the clouds this time. And hopefully I'll be able to actually jump off as well, because Apparently, dragons are really clingy and don't want you to fall off them. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm still flying. That's not good. Down. Oh, okay. He was walking around for some reason. Now I gotta go up into the sky above you. And where is it? Uh, it's over there. No. No. Let go of me. Ah. Let go of me. Yes! Yes, I did it! Okay. Check that off, and there we go. And I'm also going to check that off, not in the Lexica Botanica, in my clipboard. And I should probably also put them over into here. Wait, why isn't it... Oh, right. I forgot you have to hit the space button to make it start flying. I actually forget. Do we have a name for the blue dragon? I know the black one's Ragnarok. Yeah, I don't think we ever named the blue dragon. <laughs> I guess it's just a dragon that is never to be named. Where did... okay. Anyways, moving on to the next thing. Um, an egg mill. That's actually going to be either incredibly difficult or incredibly easy. After about 20 minutes of crafting, I just realized I actually can't make the dragon egg mill yet. Not because I don't have the resources to make the Draconic Fusion Injectors, the Ultimate Furnace, the Dragon Stone. Not because I don't have the Dragon Egg or the Dragon Heart. Because I don't have enough skulls to get two Nether Star Generators Mark III. Ah, <sighs> that's frustrating. Okay. Because apparently, in total, I need four stacks of skulls. That's a lot of skulls, man. And this thing has produced like six. Okay. Yeah. I guess I'm not going to be making this, uh, the draconic, th not draconic, the dragon thing as of yet. But we do still have like 40 different things on the uh, check thing. 
So let's look at some of this. Um, we can automate the premium hose, make a bobble, draconic capacitor. How do you make that? A uh, draconic flux capacitor. Shift for details. Uh, control for upgrades. RF capacity is the only thing it can upgrade. Oh, that is expensive. <laughs> okay. Now, what this does is it stores a ridiculous amount of energy, and then it distributes it to things that need power. Which is incredibly good. So, yeah, I gotta make it. And there we go. Alright. I don't know why I paused for so long. Now, it should only be a couple clicks, and we now have the Draconic Flux Capacitor. Which is going to be super handy. So, I can charge this up. Probably gonna have to leave that charging for a while. So, yeah, that holds like 256 million RF. So, let's see, what's the next thing I'm gonna do? Let's automate some premium hoe making. Because that actually should take only like half a second. It should just be as simple as making a bunch of patterns. And, uh, did I go too far? Uh, I have that one, that one, that one, yeah. So now I should be able to type in Supremium, then go to Supremium Ho, click Start, and I don't have the resources. What am I missing? Ah, I need skulls, right. But the fact that it was able to craft if I did have skulls tells me that I now have that complete, which means we can also check that off. Now, there's a few things, I'm actually going to go into this inventory, there's a few things that I want to get. I'm definitely going to keep my sleep charm on, so that I can sleep instantly, and the Ring of Far Reach is kind of a necessity for me now, and the Greater Band of Aura is kind of important too, which leaves the Amulet slot open, the Crown slash Tiara slot open, and the Cloak slot open, as well as whatever these things are called, belts, right? <laughs> Somehow I forgot what a belt is called. So that's four more baubles that we can have that could make us totally overpowered. And there's a few that I'm actually looking at. Now if we go into this section in the book and head over to the Cloak of Balance, which I actually need to head back to here, let's read this. The Cloak of Balance will evenly split the damage between the attacker and the target. It also prevents the target from dying. Now, if you don't know, what the Draconic Armor does is it basically makes it so that you don't take damage. Now, I'm not sure if that means amount of damage taken or if it means amount of damage dealt, because if it means the amount of damage dealt, then any time anything hit me, it would only do damage to them and none to me. Which is why I want to make this and test to see if it works. So it's pretty simple to make. So there we go. Now I have this. If I go into here, should be able to put that on there. Whoa. That looks kind of weird. But now, if I head over to here, uh, is there anything in the mob spawner current? Huh. Maybe if I go away and come back? Now is there anything hostile in there? No. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So, uh, I've got to wait for something that can fall without dying. Uh, zombie wearing gold armor, can you fall without dying? No, okay. Oh, I know, I'm just going to head into the end, where there's a million things that want to kill me. Hopefully then I'll be able to test this out, hopefully this works how I think it does. So, I'm just going to stare you right in the face, come and hit me, and it's not damaging you. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this one on for now. I think it looks fine. And it's green, so it fits. So, next bobble slot. Let's, um, let's go for a crown. I believe the only thing that you can make that goes in this slot is the golden laurel crown, which if I go into here, make this real quick, I don't have any leaves, 
But I do have stone shears, so that shouldn't be an issue. Now I have leaves. <laughs> so fill that in. There we go. So what this does is, if I ever die, it'll break, but it will instantly just, I guess, make it to where I don't die. <laughs> so next are pendants. I'm not exactly sure what any of these do yet. I can't really find them. Yeah, I cannot figure out how in the world these things work. Um, what are these? I'm pretty sure these are basically just, yeah, mobile. Alright. So I guess this slot for now is going to be empty. And if I remember correctly, all these things do is let you run really fast, so I guess, yeah, we don't actually need these two last bobble slots. But, I'm pretty sure yeah, we can make different bobbles into different things. So, for example, uh, use a bunch of stuff to make a puffy string, or a puffy scarf. So, you throw that into that. I'm pretty sure I have string. Yes, I do. Go to the pool, throw it in, get a mana-infused string, and then I need what kind of thing? I need mystical light blue things. So let's just grab a bunch of mystical light blue. I'm pretty sure I actually only need four. So turn this into these. Turn this into these. Then take this. Then if I wanted to take like this, put these together. Then I'm pretty sure if I put this on in the bobble slot, I should now be wearing a puffy scarf. I can't tell. I'm going to take off this and these two as well. And, oh yeah, I do have a little thing. So I guess that's one way of hiding your, uh, whatchamacallits, your bobbles so that they're not so intrusive. And I actually ended up just turning everything into the blue scarf because the blue scarf looks nice. Nothing else really works with my skin. Like, I tried the engineer's goggles. Nope. My eyes are not in the right position at all. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is basically like the only thing that works. But there we go. We now have a few bobbles. So let's look at the checklist. Make bobbles. Check. Now, the only other thing that was an actual achievement, still waiting for more things. Okay, uh, I'm actually pretty sure I do have a tier 3 generator somewhere, so I might just steal that and not worry about it. Uh, is this a tier 3? Yes it is. Take out the nether stars, break this, and there we go. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably put something back there later. But what that means is I should, if I actually search the generator, I should be able to make everything I need. So then to make the Mark IIs, we need a bunch of these, which means we need a bunch of these. Make as many of those as we can, then make a bunch of the vibrant crystals. Make as many of those as we can, 23, all right. Make as many of these as we can, which is eight. Then make as many of these as we can. Uh, do I not have any dragon's breath? Okay, give me a minute. I think I broke something. So... Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. It says the Ender Dragon's here, but they're not his... What happened is, I accidentally punched one of the things while the Ender Dragon was being born. Hold on, maybe if I go in peaceful mode, then back into normal mode. No, that didn't fix it. Did I just totally break this? Are you kidding me? Uh, okay. Which means there's no way for me to get more dragon's breath of the dragon. Oh, there it is, okay. What just happened? There we go, I got the stupid dragon's breath, so now I can get another star tier 3 generator. There we go. Then, if I search... Dragon Mill. 
Wait, no, it's egg mill, not dragon mill. Oh, dragon egg mill. Close enough. There we go. We now have it. Then grab a dragon egg. Click X on that. Let's just throw this somewhere. Uh, does it actually generate power, or doesn't it? <sighs> yep, it just generates grid power. So it is basically useless to me. But, you know what? It's an achievement. <laughs> so... I actually think, did we check off everything on our clipboard? We did! Alright. So check off the achievement of... What was it? Uh, create a near-infinite grid power with extra utilities Dragon Egg Mill. There we go. Now, there's something I'm going to check off here, which is fill a quantum storage unit with anything. I could leave that thing going for like 80 hours. Or I could just check it off now and not worry about it, because let's be honest... If I left that thing going for long enough, it would fill up, and either way you look at it, it's going to take longer than I'm willing to spend, so yeah, I'm just going to leave that. But with that being said, I think that's going to be the end for the or I'll hit words. I think that's going to be all for this time. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we're going to see if we can get a few more achievements out of the way. Hopefully, we'll be able to get the last few of them that are like actually possible without doing like dragon stuff, which I don't think there's any that don't have dragon stuff, but anyways, I keep rambling, I'm gonna end the episode here, I hope you enjoyed, bye.